Hey guys, welcome back to Sudoku Maniacs. I know I took a break yesterday, but I desperately needed that. So anyway, what we are going to be doing is we are just going to take a short break from the solving techniques of the variance. I'll again continue it from the next video onwards. But I had to make this video on this classic because a lot of people found it a bit difficult and they thought that they had to use trial and error to solve this. Now this Sudoku was hosted on my website, sudokumaniacs.com that is, on the 17th of July as part of the daily puzzle that we host. Now again, actually when we, what do you say, created the puzzle, the intention was never to, okay, just give me a second. Oh uh, yeah, that looks like there was some kind of a power problem. Sorry about that. So as I was saying, when we created, or rather when I created this, we made sure that it would be solvable using just pairs and So I thought, why not create a video on this? Because a lot of people had asked me to do that. So we quickly go ahead with this. And then from the next video onwards, we'll continue with the series on the solving techniques for the variance. So the first thing that I see is one, one, and this would be a one, right? Then. 5, 5, this is a 5, this becomes a 5, so this is a 5, this is a 5, then the pencil marks, 7 cannot be these 3, it cannot be here, so the 7 is locked in row 8, which makes this a 7, 2 cannot be in these 3, this becomes a 2, so this is my 4, 8, 4, 8, 1. So this has to be a 9 and this becomes a 5, which makes this a 5 and this can be eliminated. 9, 9, 9 is in this, 9, 9, this is my 9, so the 9 is logged here. So in box 1 and 7, the 9s are logged in column 1 and 3, right? So for column 2, the 9 cannot be here, it cannot be here, it's not here and not here because of these two. So this has to be a 9. Right? And for row 9, the last digits 8 and 6 because of this. So this would be 9, 8, 7, 6 is possible, 5, 4, 3, 2. Alright. So this would be a 2, 4, 3, 4. 2, 3, and this would be a 4, 6, with a 9, 8, 7 not possible, 6, yes, 5, no, 4, yes, 3 again is logged in row 7 in box 9, 2 and 1 are already there in the box. So, here, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 are logged, 6, 7 not possible, so this would be a 6, 8, 9. And here I would have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 is possible and 9 because the 7 and 8 are in the row. And this would be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 not possible, 8, and then 9. Now, this is where the crux of the puzzle is. And I guess most of the people got faltered here. When you look at it, you have a triplet of 6, 8, and 9. Correct? which basically means the 1, 3, and 4 will be part of these three. This would be 1, 3, 1, 3, 4, 1, 3 here, and this was a 1, 4. Because of the 6, 8, 9 triplet, the 6 cannot be here and will be placed in this, which by classic rules, 6, 6, this becomes a 6, this becomes a 2, this becomes a 1, and this becomes a 4 which makes this a 3 and a 2. This is a 3 by classic rules, because we got a 3 here. 
So this is a three, this becomes a six. This would again be a four eight, so this becomes a one. Now, so where were we? Yeah. So what is left here? Seven and eight. This becomes a four and eight. Four four, this is a four. So this is a three six, three seven, six seven, which may eliminates the six from here. So we get a we got an eight. Eight is locked in these two by classic rules. So this is a seven, this is an eight, this is an eight, four, four, eight. And the last digit four for row, row four. So uh, we got these three three. All right, six nine six nine. Uh, this would be a one one and a one. Again one one with this one. This has to be a one. So this becomes my four by classic rules. So this would be a seven and a six. This becomes a six with a nine here. That's a six. That's a nine, and this becomes a two, which places the two here. Eight is here. That becomes an eight. The missing digits, row one, are two and seven. So that's a seven. That's a three. That's a six. Six, three, and then eight. So you see, it's not always that a top. Sudoku requires the trial and error method. All we need to do is keep our eye open. Normally, our minds are trained to look out for pairs because it's easier to identify two digits. But it becomes slightly difficult to identify triplets, that is, three numbers occupying three cells in any given row, column, or a box. And with that simple six, eight, nine triplet, we could easily eliminate the six from row four, column three. We simply opened up the puzzle for us. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. The so next time, do not stop at the pairs. Keep an eye out for triplets. At sometimes you may even have quadruplets. You know, four digits falling in four different cells. So all things are possible. If you did like the video, like it, share it with your friends, and subscribe to the channel if you have not done so. Because in the next video onwards, we'll be continuing the solving techniques for the variance. So till the next video. Oh yes. How can I just forget this? Sorry about that. The link to solve this puzzle online is there in the description, right? So if you want to try it out again, if you have already solved it, or if you have not, go ahead, try to solve it, and see how you fare. So till the next time. Happy solving.